this journey after the giving of the passion, then the priest will use the only the short only. <laughs>
but the lesson of love. If we look at the death of Christ in the perspective of love, we be able to overcome the feeling of contradiction implied in death of Christ and celebration. Now, in any other situation of learning, because this is the lesson, then we need to learn. So whenever we are to learn, if you want to be successful in that learning, then we need to listen and listen in silence. We need to engage ourselves <coughs> in meditation and contemplation as if in, we are in revelation in order for us to capture the supreme love of God and allow it to enter our heart. For this reason, it is the day whereby we suspend all kind of entertainment. Good Friday. Leisure activities that would deviate us from attention towards this last mystery. When we contemplate the cross, then with these eyes of love, <coughs> we can see three things. The first one is that at any death, please stop in your heart beating, stop in your voice in your speaking, stop in your voice in your blood in circulation, stop in your voice in your brain, or for any sensation. So all those will cease to operate, which is scary. It is scary because this death contradicts our will to live, as I mentioned before. The second thing we may explore or understand or derive from the death of Christ is that it is the death which has a meaning beyond the physical death of stopping heart beating and stop breathing. It is a death that comes as a result of life giving for the salvation of humanity. So Jesus gave his life for our salvation. He gave his life for us to have life. It is a death that was willed <clears throat> differently from that death we are scared of this death was willed. Jesus willed. His Father willed in the beginning. He was not caught unaware in an accident or crying, ambush. No, he was not. It's something that he was conscious of from the beginning. God planned from the beginning his Father. He planned that this is what has, has to happen. It is a voluntary death that the theologians call kenosis. It's not, it's not theologians come up here, so you know, say it in the language, turn outside the <laughs> Or 
of them empty. So in dying on the cross, Jesus became the rich, the high priest, connected through this death. Jesus connects us with his, with his past, comes a bridge. What is spoken in the first reading, in the second reading? He became the one who is capable of sympathizing with us in all our suffering because he, in every respect, has been tempted as we are. So, so in dying on the cross, Jesus is offering a service to humanity. Dying then, in the death of Christ on the cross, like then we begin to derive some meaning. He has become priest leading us to God our Father. He is also teaching us a lesson of not only living our lives egoistically to ourselves alone, but we live, we must live also for others. Jesus lived his life and he died for others. It's a lesson for us that our lives must be lived not only for ourselves in an egoistic way, but for others. Finally, we contemplate the death of Jesus hung on a cross. So this is not an accident, it's not a, a, an ambush, just it was a plan that he would die and be hung on the cross. Perhaps we need to reflect also in this point. The cross can symbolize the height. So it was not a down here at all, but it was hung. In a high, in a high. So God wanted us to look about and not below. He wants us to lift, he wanted to lift us up and also to point our desires to things of above. So our desires must be of the things that are above, not things that are below. So we must always desire things of heaven, as the Paul would say, and not things of earth. And in fact, when Mass is celebrated, the priest Says, lift up your hearts. So we shall not allow our hearts to be too heavy. If it's too heavy, we tend to go down. We allow, we allow our hearts to be light so that even when the priest says, lift up your hearts, we can easily say, we lift them up to the Lord. Sometimes we just say we lift up to the Lord, but they are heavy, heavy. And they are pushing down. They are not even going up there. No. That's what we must always do. We must always do and constantly desire what is up. Because we, as we look up Christ who is bruised, we shut our mouth, we look up to him. So, dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the passion and death of Christ. This is the maximum expression of love, the sacrifice offered once and for all. When 
whenever mass is celebrated, this mystery is remembered and this event is actualized as we also heard from yesterday, even the preaching. So, we had to do this in the memory of me. This event we are celebrating today is the event that we need always to actualize every day of our life. So, let us adore then the cross of the Lord and experience his love for all of us and draw from it the driving force of faith for us to be able to also love God, lift up our, uh, uh, lift up our hearts to him and love one another.